Curtis cabs feature an assembly of parts that require specific adjustment and alignment. Reference the step numbers in this video to the installation manual for detailed instructions and a list of parts required. Carefully lay the crate down on its side and open. Unpack all the parts and organize. Parts are identified by their labels. Organize the hardware. Remove front and rear half doors. Remove factory door latches for front and rear doors. Remove all eight factory door hinges by removing and retaining the ring and pin. Remove the plastic bushing from the lower front hinges. Remove and discard the two M12 bolts and nuts from the front corners of the ROPS. Convert the rear seat and cargo bed into the three seat mode. Remove the screws from the rear base of the seat assembly. Place the rear panel bed seal against the bottom rear of the seat assembly. Install seven self-drilling screws at the bottom of the slots. Remove the rear seat latch mechanism from each side. Place each rear side panel against the side of the seat back assembly. Install five self-drilling screws through the side panel and into the seat frame. Reinstall the rear seat latch mechanism. Tighten the M6 and M4 bolts. Place the lower rear panel bracket against the inside of the plastic rear panel, align and center. Remove the protective film. Place the plastic rear panel against the rear panel sides and secure with eight three-quarter inch screws with large steel and rubber washers into the side panels and another two into the lower rear bracket. Tighten. Place the cowl onto the hood and front ROPS with the spacers in the bolt pockets. Loosen the two bolts holding the bracket to the lower rear flange of each A-pillar panel. Place each A-pillar panel on top of the cowl, front ROPS, and side of the fenders. Tuck the bulb rubber under. Install two M12 bolts through the A-pillar, cowl, and ROPS on each side and secure with a nut. Place bolt through tab of A-pillar bracket into lower factory hinge and secure with nut. Attach the left B-pillar bracket to the front latch mounts with two bolts and nuts. Place the left B-pillar panel against the center vertical tube of the ROPS and align the panel holes to bracket. Insert three bolts with washers on the outer bolts. Place bolt with washer through the lower B-pillar and rear hinge. Secure with a nut inside. Adhere 1 half by 9 16 foam rubber to the rear and bottom edges of the left and right C-pillar. Raise and secure the cargo bed. Attach the left and right C-pillars to the rear latch mounts with two bolts and nuts per side. Attach the C-pillar bracket around the ROPS and to the left and right C-pillars with three bolts per side. Place left header on top of the ROPS and align holes. Insert bolt with washer into threaded holes in A-pillar and C-pillar. Attach each header to B-pillar. Cut the one by three-quarter foam in half, four inches long, and apply to the center of the inside corner of left and right gas spring brackets. Remove the two M10 bolts at the center ROPS cross tube, the farthest to the front and rear from the left end driver side of the cross tube. Place the left gas spring bracket against the ROPS and secure it with new longer M10 bolts. Insert one bolt through the mount and into the header. Install three bolts through the B-pillar upper flange into the gas shock bracket. Place the windshield support on top of the headers and A-pillars. Attach to each A-pillar with a bolt and nut and tighten. Line up with no gaps in the rubber under the cowl, then tighten the four M12 bolts. Place the windshield into the windshield support. Place a hinge spacer block into the windshield hinge and two flat 5 16 bolts through each hinge and secure it with nuts. Glass windshield. Install the shorter gas springs into the windshield frame, piston rod downwards. Install the latches into the windshield frame. Attach each latch bracket to the cowl with two 5 8 inch bolts and nuts and tighten. Lift the bottom of the windshield and close the latches. Check the fit. Adjust the hinges as needed. Tighten the four windshield hinge bolts. Poke a hole through the headliner at each hole in the front canopy. Place the front canopy on top of the cab and align the holes in the headers and windshield support. Insert the longer bolts with plastic washers through the outer front holes of the canopy, through the holes in the ROPS, and through the lower flange of the headers and secure with nuts. Insert shorter bolts with plastic washers through the remaining holes through the canopy and secure with nuts. Tighten seven bolts in the front canopy. At the rear canopy gas spring mounts, tighten the four N10 bolts and the two bolts. Align the B-pillar upper rear flange flush to the side header and tighten the five bolts. Tighten the five bolts in each C-pillar. 
Tighten the bolts between the left and right header and A pillar. Cargo bed should still be raised and locked. Remove the battery cover. Drill a 9 30 second hole through the lower hole in the C pillar and plastic panel. Secure with a bolt outside and a steel washer and nut inside the plastic panel and tighten. Place the fuel filler cover panel onto the right B pillar and insert two bolts. Align to the side of the B pillar and tighten bolts. Place the front flange of the fuel filler cover against the lower flange of the A pillar and install a self drilling screw. Install a second self drilling screw through the hole at the rear of the lower flange of the fuel filler cover. Install a self drilling screw through the lower flange of the A pillar on the driver's side. Tighten the two bolts holding the lower tab to the A pillar. Tighten the lower bolt to the vehicle door hinge mount. Loosen the two bolts for each hinge on the front of the rear canopy. Apply pressure to the hinge down towards the front edge of the canopy and tighten the bolts. Place the rear canopy onto the cab and align. If necessary, loosen the rear flange and retighten after the hinges are tight. Place a hinge sleeve over each pin and secure the front canopy with two bolts and nuts. Apply forward pressure on the rear canopy against the front canopy and tighten bolts. Attach the cylinder end of the shorter gas springs, piston rod downward, onto the latch mounts. Lift canopy and connect the other end to the mounts. The doors are packaged with the removable sliding windows installed. Apply general purpose grease onto the door hinge pins. The left and right upper hinge sleeves will be found in the hardware box. Install a brass washer to the lower hinge of the driver's side A pillar. Place the door onto the lower hinge, latch, install a brass washer and the upper hinge sleeve, then bolt the left hinge sleeve to the door. Door should yield two audible clicks when shut. See the manual for adjustments. Repeat steps 16.4 and 16.5 for the remaining doors. Install the gas springs with the piston end on the door. If a mirror kit is not being installed, insert plastic plugs into the installation holes. Ensure all doors and windshield close and latch reliably with no visible gaps. Readjust if necessary. Remove the protective film from the rear panel and windshield. Double check all bolts, fasteners, and smooth operation of components. Also, be sure to clean up the vehicle and polish all glass for delivery to your customer. To open the windshield for ventilation, lift up on both pop-out latches and rotate until the latches rest in the over center position. To remove the window, loosen the two thumb screws holding the bottom of the window and rotate. Pull the bottom of the window away from the door and out of the tabs at the top. To operate, rotate the handles until the latch tab is clear of the rops. Pull down on the plastic latch handles and rotate the handles towards the front under the cab headers. The rear panel and cab sides are designed to seal in six passenger mode and allow movement of the rear seat into three passenger mode. 